This week's video is going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be a weekly because I'm heading over to Las Vegas with Hand Eye to the CES show. So it'll be my whole trip and time over in Las Vegas and what I'm up to. It's Monday morning and I have woken up in Vegas. Yeah, that's right. What a start to the year. I'm here for the CES show. I'm the girl with no voice. This is episode 48. Let's go. As I said, I'm over in Las Vegas, I'm over at the CES show, which is the Consumer Electronics Show. It's all about the future of technology and what you can expect in the next year or two. I'm really grateful I've been invited over here by with Hyundai. As always, my second time within a year I've been over here with Hyundai. But there's so much to see around the whole show, but let's take a look at the Hyundai stand. This autonomous 4.5 meter excavator is cabless. This is because it can be controlled remotely or work on its own, meaning operators can be out of harm's way on high risk sites. Each crawler track is independent so the machine can adapt to the landscape and keep traction. The machine has a built in tilt rotator and an auto balancing counterweight. Keeping utilisation rates high makes for more efficient and cleaner work sites. Software will be able to define which machines are required on site and what they need to be doing so the fleet is being used effectively as possible. The undercarriage is detachable so you can simply put another kind of upper body right onto it. The future of construction machines is right here and I can't wait to see it on a real life site. Yeah, and an innovation leader positioning itself alongside brands like Samsung and Microsoft. Working off-site will become a more common thing in the future and safety is the main reason. To prepare HD, Hyundai has developed lots of technology to support customers and keep people safe. Using VR, we'll be able to operate the latest machines at the show. We can experience what Hyundai thinks future sites will look like, whether on ground, underground or even underwater. Here, I'm driving a wheel loader based out here in America using this simulator. This has real safety benefits and it finally means I'll be able to work from home. Using AL, even someone who had never even driven a machine can be nearly as productive as me. More safety technology is included, like the next generation camera and sensor system, SAVM, the smart around vision monitoring that detects people and objects, and can automatically slow or stop the machine to respond. The feature has just won a CES Innovation Award. A new for 2024, a transparent bucket on wheel loaders, cameras which will fill in the blind spots that your bucket creates, helping to avoid people and objects. The twin sight concept makes a lot of sense and HD Hyundai is providing itself as a future builder. Zero emission technology in construction is a huge trend right now and as a future builder, HD Hyundai has the solutions we need for 2024 and beyond. I've had the chance to try HD Hyundai's electric mini diggers but since then, the company has developed more ways to generate and distribute electricity needed on site to keep them running. This foldable solar tower will supply power to EVs on site through an integrated charging station. Charging robots will also deliver power directly to machines. We're just on our way to a speech from Hyundai. It's at the Venetian Hotel. My voice is totally gone by this point. But hopefully I'll get to show you around the hotel a bit as well because it is really, really smart in there. And then we'll be back to the show to see what other cool stuff we can find. I was lucky enough to go and have a look what else was on display at the CES show, so let's go and check it out. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so what we have here is our Max Control app. It's hooked up to a Max Control unit that is in this 3D printed model of our S7X. What it is, is it's gonna be backwards compatible with any Bobcat machine with selectable joystick controls back to 2004. Allows you to control your uh, loader, your uh, skitzer loader or track loader with your iPhone. So right now, as it is today, uh, you can use the touch screen, but what we did today is we brought a controller where you can actually use the controls now to control your uh, machine. So if you have gloves on or if it's dirty, rainy, that way you don't have any interference with the screen. So it'll be just like you're in the machine, left is going to be all your drive, right is going to be your work group. Well, it's quite fast. It's pretty fast, <laughs> yeah. But again, the machines of the machines we brought here today, the Rogue and the S7X, can all be controlled with what you're using right now. That's crazy. That's mental. That's really cool. Okay. This flying car was really cool. It definitely caught my attention and everybody else's. It's made in China and I don't know if it's gonna be available soon, but it's still cool nonetheless. This is a robot cocktail maker made by Doosan. Now it's pretty cool, I thought Doosan just made diggers but turns out they make cocktail maker robots too. I went to check out this autonomous Kubota tractor and I thought it was a pretty cool bit of equipment. Well that's me all done at the CES show over here in Las Vegas. Again, had a great time over here with Hyundai. Such good fun. Although my voice is gone, I tried to get as much content as I could for you guys. Now it's for the dreaded flight back home and back to the kiddies. I slid my pickup in the ice into the fence post and buggered it. I mean, it's not the worst. The, the, that Most of this is dirt, but... Um, it's bad enough. <laughs> so I think that's time to tell me that I should probably just go home and stop doing anything else. Not a good way to end the week. But anyway, come back next week. I'm going to be here digging out all this bit, getting ready for the zap shelter. Thank you always for the likes, comments and support and I'll see you next week.